Hello everyone, in this video I'll be doing a review of Budgie Remix for Ubuntu. So it uses the Budgie desktop, which you might be more familiar with if you know of the Solus project. Yes, it's built primarily for their Linux distro, but it's not just for that one Linux distro, as the team working on Budgie Remix are aiming to prove. So the Budgie desktop is built on the GNOME stack and is designed to be kept out of the way of the user. Well, that's a simple objective, isn't it? Just sit down and shut up. So I don't want to see any error messages, and I want everything to be done for me. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> we'll see if at least one of those objectives is achievable. So did Budgie Remix sit here and shut up? No, it did not. It crashed within a very short time, and I can make it crash on demand. So this desktop has some catastrophic negatives with it. However, I don't want to just focus on the negatives. Let's start with some positives. So. It is rapid to boot up. Very much like the Solus OS distro, very fast to boot up. I'd say that perhaps Solus has the edge. As far as the Budgie desktop goes, it is actually a really nice desktop to use. The flow is very nice, the styling is very nice. Actually really happy with that. It provided a welcome screen with an introduction about the operating system. So really nice there. Let's look at some of the features of the desktop first. So it is built off the GNOME stack, has a lot of the GNOME applications pre-installed. But as you can see, the layout of the menu bar and the application menu bear no resemblance to GNOME. So when you have an application full screen, it hides the plank menu on the left hand side. So when you drag the application around, can you snap to resize? And no, you can't, but you can snap to resize as full screen. You got the windowed mode, minimize. Yes, that's all very straightforward. Depending on the application, it does have some additional icons in the window bar. On the right hand side, we have the Raven menu. When you have a song playing, actually, tell you what, let's just play a song and I'll show you what it does. Rhythm box. There you go, I've got Rhythm box loaded up, and oh, look, we've got some controls here in the pop up menu as well. So, very nice. Anyway, what I wanted to show you was in the Raven menu. Yes, you have the music player controls. Looks good. Happy with that. The notifications, uh, no notifications there at the moment. There's a shortcut to the settings. I think that'd be the lock screen and the shutdown. Cool. On the left hand side, we have the plank dock. No, I didn't know it could do that. So when you right click on some of the applications, it gives you additional options depending on the applications. So we have the option to play, pause, or go, to, or go to the next or previous track. How about on Firefox? Does that give me the private window? Yes, it does. Ah, so it has more features than the Plasma desktop, because <laughs> they've only just gained the audio and video player controls, but lost the private window on the browser. On the top left hand side, we have the menu, and you can type to search for applications, or you can scroll through the categories. Let's start typing something, so I'm expecting Calculator to come up very quickly, or LibreOffice Calc. E-A-L, eventually. And I can scroll across, press enter, open the application. Looking through the groups, not as responsive as Plasma, I do have to click the button to make something appear. So hopefully I've showered this distro with enough praise. Now to go on to some of the negatives. And bizarrely, the first one was in the welcome screen. I swear I didn't even mean to cause a crash at this point. It just coincidentally happened that the first thing I tried doing, <laughs> how embarrassing, I looked into features and, oh, besides having to um, mm, disagree with uh, one of the items that they've said, so Budgie Remix can get viruses and other infections, but it doesn't. Rapid and timely updates ensure that there are very few, if any, threats to the Linux system, like Budgie Remix, that persist in the wild. In reality, there have been few public infections in the last 10 years. Oh dear, you really shouldn't have said that, guys. That is a very complacent thing to say. Because I can count two infections on my own systems, uh, Linux-based infections, and it's not just through being stupid on installing an application, it was a drive-by attack, so I had little to no choice in the matter. And we've just had a Linux server infected at work. 
and that wasn't through an application installation either. So, to say few infections, I can count three on my own. <laughs> anyway, one of the items in here was about the flat pack application center, and I thought, oh yeah, let's give that a go. And I clicked to install it, and it seems to have disappeared now that I've installed it, and it crashed. <laughs> it crashed on the installation of something in the welcome screen. Looking across at getting started, we do have the driver installed. I didn't even attempt this for VirtualBox because I know that they tend to fail in Ubuntu nowadays. I've got my own script to make them install properly. Ah, oh, my mistake, it was the recommendations I was looking at because it has Flatpak mentioned here. So that's where it crashed. Oops. So there is an installer here in the welcome screen and yeah, just go install. And I think it showed, oh, obviously not for this one, it, it does show the installation progress. I like the transparency effects that they've done here. There's also links to the chat room, community, and getting involved in donation pages. So I did poke my head into the chat room. It was a little bit quiet though. Yes, I poked my head in, replied to one post, and also mentioned something else. Yes, okay, clear off. SSH client wasn't installed, so when I tried SSH through the Nautilus file manager, it didn't work. The other problem I ran into was installing some Plasma applications. I thought, oh yeah, let's just go for Caden Live, because I use that for video editing all the time, and I did use it in Ubuntu, no problems. Uh, in Budgie Remix, though, it doesn't work. It would crash. Or at least it's not coming up with a crash dialog box anymore now, but... Uh, on the other hand, it's just sitting here doing nothing. So I was thinking, is that a Plasma-related issue? Because this was something I couldn't test in Solus, because at the time when I reviewed it, how well, things have changed, but at the time, there were no Qt applications available. It's not just a case that no Plasma applications work at all, because Krita works. And as you can see, we have about Krita and about KDE. So... Presumably just an issue located with Kden Live. But I've had it working on Kubuntu 16.10. So, interesting. A Nautilus file manager. I can get an idea of the application icon themes that they've used. So, looks nice enough. I find it so weird having some of these icons in the window bar. See, look, shortcuts of preferences is up there on the top left hand side. But on the right hand side, you've got the file searcher. View switcher and what's this last one? Oh, for creating new folders. So, okay. Right clicking on desktop gives you the option to create a new folder, open a terminal, or change the background. That's the background I was aiming for. So I've got the background or lock screen to change. There's a few different wallpapers provided. Oh, we've got narrow scroll bars. Or we can have a plain color. Let's take a look at some of the applications that we have installed. So nothing that special under accessories. Under games, it was just in basic games because I've installed Steam. Graphics, I've installed Krita and Inkscape. Actually, you can see that Krita doesn't have an icon available in this icon set, so that's fallen back to the default. Internet, you've got Firefox for the web browser and Geary for the email client. Office, you've got the partial suite of LibreOffice. Sound and video. So you've got Rhythmbox for the audio player and Totem for the video player. So looking at a system monitor, well, the memory usage seems to be a little bit high, but I've started allocating 8 gig for these virtual machines now, and uh, it seems to have taken advantage of it. That was a look at Budgie Remix. Well, I'm a bit surprised at how quick I've made it crash, and the fact I can't seem to run KDN Live, but beyond that, the desktop has been perfectly fine to use. It's seems to be very much functional, the layout is nice enough, and the theming is quite nice. So, a mixed opinion about it. Well, thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.